Today's Daily Dose of Daryl was inspired by reflecting back to people Scotland and realizing that there are lessons to be learned everywhere, whether around the world or each day in our daily lives. The place selected to stay in Peebles was the Tontine Hotel. A delightful family ran it, and they still do. Wonderful people there, and delightful food in a great ballroom. There was a particular spot that became our spot, the place we loved to eat with a great view out over the Tweed River, and it just became like the place for us. And yet, of course, many, many people go there. We thought the room was perfect, and how can you improve perfection? It was like a great fairy tale room to eat the meals in. And yet recently I got a message from them where they have redone the room. Yes, it's different now. And they've upgraded it and it looks great. And so only a reason to give us to go back there to make sure it's the same as before. The point is that things don't always stay the same and they change. And oftentimes, it may be like when I was in college and Ken Mattingly was selected for the Apollo 13 flight. Everyone was excited on campus. An Auburn student going to be flying to the moon. And all of a sudden, uh, he was exposed to the measles. And they had to scratch him from that flight. And you know the rest of the story. What a trip it was. A movie made about it if you weren't alive back then look at it, but the right crew was there. It's like the letters of an alphabet in an old art project that I did. We had to arrange those letters in a certain way to create a certain design. And everyone's was different, but there are 26 letters, 26 letters and unlimited amounts of combinations and ways to put them together. And that results in many, many different words and, of course, many different designs. We're all different, but we are to be a part of God's shedding light into the world. This particular design that I did was of a lantern, and a lantern reminds us of light and shedding light in darkness. We will run into darkness in our lives, but God puts us together in such a way that we can be a part of that light being spread into the world. It's just like food. You may have a salad and your salad can be totally different than other people's salad. Certain things are put in it that you like and others don't. It's a great combination and it's delightful to you. It says in the scriptures that God gives us the bread of life. And that bread is sustenance for our spiritual being. Stay tuned to your each day to your spiritual life and make sure you're being fed by the Word of God and the Spirit of God. And that whether you're a plain, simple loaf of bread or perhaps sometimes you may be like a fancy soup, real spicy and flavorful, or perhaps just plain. That could be who you are in a certain situation. Or maybe you're just like a good old smoothie. Uh, a little nutty, <laughs> but truly good for your health. Whatever it is, God wants you to be placed in the right combination in life. So be sure to allow Him to fit you in to His plan and His mission for you.